Kyle think fast, outcast socially, full mast iconoclast verbosely, OSHA, Foxconn, EPA, Pfizer, no shed tears for woke sympathizers, devs get doused with Vietnam napalm, do not redeem sir, sir, please stay calm, bungee activists hit by layoffs, sweet baby defense finally pays off. You must construct additional pylons. Second wind out of breath, half the big draws gone. Nick Calandra calls resignations. You can't build on weak foundation. Game Informer shut down, oh no. Remember when you canceled DOA though? Game journos coordinate their strikes. Everything's sexist and racist, right? Bungie run a marathon to dissatisfaction. Who told you to shoot for extraction? Unsalted, saltine, obscene seen repulsive triggered by hogwarts got you convulsive stellar blade showed them who you are fake controversy over hard r can't separate reality from fiction only interested in race swapped depictions flat chest art style always betrays you commies mad the male gaze will not glaze dudes western gaming's obsessed with queer so please learn a lesson this fiscal year Hello beta testers, like and subscribe to join over 100,000 beta testers on a journey you can guide to the top of gaming. I'm pretty sure you're aware of some of the explosive things going on in gaming as of late, and if you're aware of Bungie's stranglehold on Destiny players, then you know this is a big deal. Not just a bunch of crazy layoffs, including some woke people with some very spicy things to say, but for the uninitiated, Destiny's what I like to consider an American gotcha game, or at least in that category. These are your sports games, your car games, where you know you'll spend for a team player or a specific car. These are how America likes their waifus to be shaped. And God bless them. The woke sluts convincing everybody that their job is vital. They're not going to be getting in the way of the cars and wrestlers that DSP might need to gamble for. What a delight. There's probably too much money on the line. Money that I guess the Asians are just hoovering up in a way right now that is indicating to maybe some shareholders that you could have this money too. If you didn't have so many Sarkeesian types that were using the man's fist right up that ass to destroy depictions of women with exactly the kind of insecure and lonely nonsense that you would see triggering losers looking at an attractive woman on a magazine cover. But hilariously, when given the power to do something about it, to be the change they want to see in the world, instead of establishing variety and in the inclusion that they say that they're going to establish, they excluded what they specifically didn't like and are actively jealous of in a way that they won't even refute. In fact, they are to blame for much of their current undoing because they've been so proud being publicly deplorable and justifying it with they disagree so they deserve it that now they can't retroactively retract all of the damage that they've done. Cases like Nick Calandra of Second Wind who very openly went after and sought information on people like Grums and Smash JT, you're reaching out to people's place of employ because in their fucked heads they've convinced themselves that it's justified but all of that aside when your colleagues are begging you to step away because of how bad the optics are and you're you're tricking yourself with this fake nonsense that people are feeding you because your pussy's so fucking wet for this grums guy you're going after a website that doesn't do anything illegal so even though you momentarily got it taken down after you begged for fucking mass reports because that looks great it was restored and in fact the Streisand of interest because of you clearly wanting this hidden is what you have to thank yourself for. Thank yourself. But you've been brought to a point where you have to write shit like this. Quote, 
As clarified on Discord, I have been off for the last month as the team intervened with me and made clear that I would be fired, which I agree with, if I do not rein myself in as I was spiraling mentally and hurting the business. This was addressed a month ago with the team and I've made the necessary changes to resolve it. Nick, end quote. This is where this should have stopped, but apparently disagreements erupt because people end up resigning from Second Wind, one of them being behind the cold take segment that seems to represent a good portion of your channel's draw, at a glance anyway. You said yourself if you couldn't exercise restraint that you would be fired, and here you are on Reddit needing to control the narrative when, quite frankly, any of you Kotaku racist defending Sweet Baby sympathizers refuse the reality that Chris Kindred of Sweet Baby Inc. is responsible for 400,000 people signaling that they would love a list of the, the forced identity politics and sensitive garbage that you're going to have to pump into these things. Another Streisand effect that I guess, I, what's the point of me even trying to explain that you wanting it so badly not to be seen is what's kind of contributing to that. Maybe I'm qualified being ethnic enough to impress upon you the difference that we can discern between diversity which existed before the aggressive pronoun pushers and pandering the woke entities recently fired from bungie had big words about how much bungie needed to be queer and how oh you're a bigot if you don't accept these changes imposed on a language and culture that you have nothing to do with you fucking idiot insomniac games didn't do oh man let me let me not even all you give up is how triggered you are by Harry Potter and I could scream until I'm blue in the face on this fucking channel with my black ass and I still couldn't fucking approach how ooh, your panties just ooh they sandy ooh they wrinkled for this JK Rowling bitch who we a fucking course are forced to thank you for because holy god you can't control it your colleagues have always subliminally understood in your cult but now you're showing them how little it takes and how instantly you'll turn on people when the cold fact is you are at fault. But you'll use what little power you have to render that invalid. <laughs> I want to read the gentleman who resigns letter. I now read his scathing resignation letter. Quote, I have resigned from Second Wind Group and I'll say more later, but I want people to know where their money and support is going in the meantime. When I joined Second Wind Group, I was under the assumption that we were forming a team of creatives with equal value and equal say. Individual creators would oversee their personal series and the group would decide how to run the business together. It is plain as day that we have recreated the toxic corporate environment that we abandoned, led by a petulant wannabe CEO who overspends, overpromises, under delivers, sows division, tarnishes our image, asserts his creative vision or rather creative blindness and sabotages anyone's attempts to correct him all while he fails his most basic duties joy rides around the world clout farms and expects the community and yahtzee to foot the bill because nick calandra tanks our youtube revenue and makes us undesirable for sponsors it is beyond incompetence i'm just reading nigga don't blame me Nick Calandra operates in bad faith to serve his ego, and this group lacks the attitude and processes to appropriately deal with inaction and inability to deliver the core capabilities of our roles. The board of directors huh, lacks a knowledgeable enough majority to see through even the most basic Google searchable errors in Nick's farcical directions and use their personal feelings as a substitute for information even when presented with dumbed down versions at their repeated request. The rest of the owners have little knowledge of what's going on, and I don't fault them because that's the whole point of the culture of isolation. There aren't enough leads at once thinking there's a problem, the rest don't know of the problems, therefore there are no problems. All of my personal attempts to make Nick see reason are ignored. All of my attempts to make the leads aware of Nick's behavior are brushed off with minimal action. All of my attempts to raise concern for our systemic issues with leads are put off until 
after problems occur. I refuse to be subjected to this behavior any longer. I believe I have done everything in my power to address the issues for over six months, and I want no part in preying on the community's goodwill and Yahtzee's hard work simply because we can't run a business at this rate. We don't deserve to run a business. Consider this my formal resignation, effective immediately." End quote. Now that he and another member are no longer a part of Second Wind, I can say that I'm eager to see how things unfold, but if I may, I'd like to read three comments from three different developers that used to work at Bungie. One from Robert Brooks reads, Back when I joined Bungie, I always felt Saint-14 and Osiris were romantically involved because, as a queer man, their romance made sense to me. I learned my interpretation was in fact correct when I became a narrative designer for the company and I was overjoyed. <clears throat> so yeah, here we have another comment from someone who was invited out to check out uh, the CEO's cars two days before they were let go. They, they say, when a queer person introduces themselves on a queer panel about trans and gender non-conforming people and how to be more inclusive and the first thing you talk about is how much you're a Harry Potter lover, I'm getting a refund. God forbid, right? And the last comment I'm going to read is from a dude named Max Nichols who says, it's always shocking to see the intense hatred, jealousy, and viciousness in the shitty parts of the online gamer culture when it rears its head. I will assume anyone who's mad at Sweet Baby Inc. right now is a murderous white supremacist. <sighs> okay. You know, like, this one picture destroys so much of what the woke side has to do in the way of deceiving. You can't admit... You know, it's never extremes. It's never one umbrella, one blanket that everyone is under. You can't invalidate the whole side, especially when you're forced to avoid, to omit what this one picture illustrates, that sweet baby is the one who kicked this beehive. And then Kotaku, in its ignorant glory, decided to dispatch one of its devout, self-admitted sluts to infiltrate their words, the safe space that had been created following the harassment, to gather information? And when they wrote their article, they framed it in a way that made it seem a different way than it really was. And you, you can't even hide behind being uninformed. What the fuck is wrong? I know, I know you're signaling that you're on the right cult side to the, you're taking that ship on down, but we know you're looking for the nearest ship to jump on and not be good this time, but steer that one into the nearest iceberg, create your own hole in the ship if you can. What the fuck is wrong with you people? So, uh, you know, I, we are amazed. We are in awe. I am part of the people just looking around online and going, holy shit, man. This is stuff that you guys said while you were employed. And it's like, you're so proud. You're so, it's, it's, it's unprofessional. How can I say that to you from my bedroom? What the fuck? You know, so I wish everybody the best, <laughs> the best in this industry of people afraid of Lara Croft. Holy crap, man. It can take some effort to piece it all together. And the rushed, uninteresting story that you get out of the ordeal isn't worth the effort of having to edit it for yourself. Worse yet, it occasionally leans into the series penchant for cringe-inducing fan service. If you aren't invested in the continuing exploits of Dead or Alive's characters, tournaments, or plot lines already, don't bother starting now. Graphics. Character models are detailed, but also look kind of plastic. <laughs> you can tone down the breast bouncing if you want, but there's still some eye-rolling creepiness. Here's a totally real person that wrote in. And they say, 
Am I the only one who is sick and tired of pervy Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate DLC costumes clogging up the add-on skew of Xbox Live? These embarrassing nickel and dimers have been infecting the download lineup for much now. It's ridiculous. Not only have there been hundreds of them, but I, I thought we were over this sort of misogynistic juvenile bullshit. I'm certainly not expecting you or anyone else to do anything about it, but seriously, they need to put a cap on this shit. I can't be alone here. Valen Jamison, Dallas, Texas. Uh-huh. So then they respond, We thought you were exaggerating, Valen. But a quick search of the Xbox shows that there are currently 337 DLC costumes listed for Team Ninja's Cleavage Obsessed Fighter, with names like Ultimate Sexy Costumes, Hottie Swimwear, and Bath and Bedtime Costumes. Ugh, fuck. It'd be better if they were men. That's how they think. We're also inclined to agree with your overall assessment of the situation. Hopefully there aren't enough perverts to keep Team Ninja's current business model afloat much longer. Well, look, you didn't have enough people to keep your business model afloat, Game Informer. So, patrons, sponsors, beta testers, I love you. And I think this is only the beginning of what we're going to be seeing in the gaming space. So, hopefully you're in for the long haul. Stick around. Talk to me in the comments and I'll catch you later. Bye.